Welcome everybody. Welcome to an awesome, exciting CGC unboxing today. Got something super cool to show you guys today. I can't wait to crack into it. Really excited for this one. It's a big un today. Big un, big inbox. Uh, who loves some big ins? I know I like some big ins. This is a cool box that I can't wait to crack into. It came a couple days ago, so I've been waiting to show it off for you guys today. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because I know I'm going to enjoy what's in this box. I got a little something for everybody that you all could appreciate, and I hope you like as well. So stick around, check it out. We'll be right back. What's rocking, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Welcome. Welcome back to another CGC unboxing video. Ah, this one's a good one. Couldn't wait to crack into this one. There's some books in here that I couldn't wait to get back for a while now, but CGC turnaround times actually, it, it took a lot, lot less longer than I expected to come back. Uh, these got received in November. And I just got them back this past week, so I can't wait to crack into them for you guys today. As you can tell, it's a decent sized box. Uh, we got six books in here. Some very cool keys in here for you two guys today that you can all appreciate. Plus some stuff that I learned as well that I'm going to share with you as well. As far as maybe what to do next time as far as with your submissions and stuff. Um, just one key lesson that I learned because one book that I sent out I thought was in pristine condition came back. Uh, I took a hit on it. Um, wasn't a big one, thankfully, so that's a good thing, but it was one for my personal collection just because I like collecting this certain book and the different covers and everything that go along with it. But if it's your first time here, welcome, welcome everybody. Much appreciate you stopping by to check us out today. Uh, if you like comic books, which we're here for today, but also if you like, like Funko Pops, mystery boxes, stuff like that, I unbox them with my son. We rotate the videos as far as back and forth, which we're opening, we'll do back and forth with the comic books, mystery boxes, stuff like that. Just keep it fun, keep it exciting, keep it interesting for you guys, so I hope you like that. So if it is your first time here, though, do us a favor, click on that subscribe button down below. Take that button, you turn it from red, you make it a nice dull gray color, but it's not dull. I hope you have a good time here today. If you do have a good time, give us a nice solid thumbs up as well. Much appreciate the likes, much appreciate the support. As far as support, show some support, some comments down below. Let us know what your favorite is that we unbox for you today. Got a big one in here. Uh, one book that I, I, I'm not going to lie, ahead of time, I did peek as far as this submission goes. Usually I like doing them blind, but I couldn't wait. Ever since I saw this book get pressed by my man Gamma Ray, Chris, I just got excited. I, it, it came by, he, sh one thing I love about Chris and what he does as far as when he ever presses a book, sometimes whenever you send your submissions to him on his Instagram, he shows videos of like before and after cleans and presses and stuff like that. And it just gets you pumped up when you see a book that you send in and how beautiful it looks when he's done with it. Uh, most of these books in here, he actually showed off, but one of them, like I said, with the music and everything it, he put to it, I just got super pumped, but I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get into this right now for you. Like I said, there's some cool books in here. Some were from a per personal collection. Some were purchases that I made and some were from a collection that I bought. So one of them, the big one that's in here was from my own personal collection that I bought it when it first came out. And just to show you how apparently I take care of my collection since I was a kid. But let's crack into it, show you guys what we got. I apologize in advance sometimes as far as the glare on the slabs. I'm trying to eliminate it. We'll see if I can eliminate it completely today. All right, let's see, starting with... I'm going to start with this one here because this was one that, like I said, I told you at the beginning of this that I made an oopsie. Uh, this was one, it was from my personal collection. Let me get some of this bubble wrap in there. This is kind of tight. A, that's what she said. Yay, bubbles. Always save them for 
repackaging and reshipping. Now this one here, I thought was a solid, solid candidate for a 9.8. And even when Chris did the pressing and he showed the video on his Instagram, I was like, wow, that really came out beautiful. This is Spider-Man number one. Now, this one did not come back as well as I hoped. I mean, looking at it, absolutely looks beautiful. But unfortunately, the grade on it, womp, womp, womp. Now, I checked the grader notes on it. It was large foxing on the back cover. First of all, before you send anything in, always double check the back. Uh, and I could see what they said and what they meant because I did not check this out beforehand. And it is definitely large foxing on the back. Foxing is just pretty much like staining. You can see there. But other than that, it looks beautiful from the front. So this is going to be a cool showpiece anyway. Give this to my son. Pass this off to him. But anytime you're not sure as far as sending your submissions in, do the pre-screen on it. You know, pre-screens are always good. So this way there's no low blows as far as this goes. Still a beautiful book. Beautiful looking book. But like I said, that hit on the back. I mean, it's kind of hard to see it probably on the camera. But there's definitely large spots all along the back, along the spine, along the top which I didn't take out and I didn't check before I had it pressed, cleaned, and then sent to CGC. But still a beautiful book. Nonetheless, Todd McFarlane, Spider-Man, number one. I got the gold one and I got and a 9.8. I got the green one out at CGC now. My goal is to have all the different Spider-Mans in a 9.8 eventually. Line them up. Love my Spidey collection. Okay, let's see, going next. Next year we got, this was another one. I got excited. Let's see, we're gonna go. Okay, next one we got coming up. Now this was a, one of my, from my personal collection when I was a kid. Um, it was a book I bought when it first came out. I loved the old movies. I was a huge fan of the old movies when they came out. Toxic Avenger, number one. New Jersey's first superhero. Uh, let's see. This, yep, the first superhero from New Jersey. Toxic Avenger, some spec around this book. They do have a new movie coming out for him. Uh, Henry Dinklage, who you might know from Game of Thrones and stuff, is supposed to be playing Toxie in that video. Or move video. This is a video. Movie. Uh, but very cool. Very happy to see. I'm I'm a fan of the old trauma movies. So I'm very excited to see Dinklage and, you know, their new spin on Toxie. Hopefully they don't destroy the whole cult classic of the film. Uh, but very excited to see this on the big screen. And as far as very excited, boom. Very cool. Very happy with that. Nine, six. No greater notes on it, of course. This I knew it had a small ding in the corner, so I wasn't sure if I was going to take a hit for that or not, but that's probably what they hit me for. But 9-6, I'll take it all day. Listen, near mint. White pages. Very cool. Based on the trauma movie character, Toxic Avenger. Awesome. Very cool. Jersey, represent, born and raised. Now... Getting into, let's see where we want to go next. This was a purchase I made. This was a purchase I made online, dig auctions. Uh, I bought it raw. It was a book I always wanted when I was younger, and I never got it, but I got all the other ones. I got two, three, four, but I never got number one. I got a great deal on this from Dig, and they graded it as far as very fine near mint. Um, they, they said roughly around a 9.0. I took a shot. I also, once again, had this clean, had this pressed. My man Gamma came in once again and came in with a solid job. And I'll take that at a 9-2 any day of the week. Love this cover. 
Love this. I loved seeing this when I was a kid. Just such a classic, classic cover. Wolverine. Limited series. Very cool. Frank Miller. Classic cover art. Listen, we all know Wolverine. We know the character. We know this cover. I'll take it at a 9-2 from September 1982. Solid. So happy with that. Y'all know I'm a big Wolverine fan. So happy to get this one back. I couldn't wait to get that one in my collection. That's why I was so happy to open these up for you today. Now we're going to get into some X-Men. Now this is a little... One of those books... Okay, first appearance, not first appearance. Because some people will say it's one book. Some people will say it's in this book. So... But this was part of a collection that I bought. I purchased somebody's whole collection, and I found this book in there. And that is X-Men 266. X-Men 266, first full appearance of Gambit, because they say X-Men Annual 10. It was, is it 10? I believe it's 10. Uh, it was just a cameo appearance. But he appeared in more than one panel in that book. I do not have that book yet. But I do have this one. I've had this one. I was so happy to find this in a collection. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably remember when I picked this whole collection up. This was one of the books in there. I had a lot of people ask me about it because it looked so clean, so nice. And Gamma did a clean and nice job on that to get that to a 9.6. 9.6, I will take that all day on that book. So cool. Beautiful. The colors on this are awesome. I gotta say, CGC, I hear horror stories of Newton rings and all that stuff, but not a single issue with any of these so far. Knock on wood, I still have two left. Beautiful. Case is beautiful. Everything looks awesome. Love it. Gambit's another one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites, all Marvel. You know, I have some non-Marvel as well, but Wolverine, Gambit, Deadpool... Spider-Man, who doesn't love them all? I love them all. Listen, I'm a Marvel fanboy. Hate me for it. Now, let's see. We got... Now, the one book that I have that's a big one is not Marvel. Got you thinking about it, but... We'll see what it is. I'll save that one for last. I got one more coming that is Marvel. This book meant a lot to me. This was actually part of that collection that I picked up as well. I'll tell you why it meant a lot. This is Amazing Spider-Man. Volume 2, number 36. Now, this book here is a 9-11 tribute book. Uh, being Living in New York, we everybody here either knew somebody or knew, knew somebody that was in the towers or impacted drastically by 9-11. That's why this book, I just I couldn't wait to send out. Um, and I was so happy to see in the collection when I bought that collection but as you all know, too, with this being an all-black cover, very tough to get any imperfections out of it. Black is hard. It shows everything. But once again, my man coming in clutch with the 9.6 on that. There, were, When he showed the video on the Instagram, uh, there was definitely some dents that he was able to press out. But he did an awesome job on it. I mean, that thing is just flat clean. I see one little spine tick, and that's it. But other than that, he did an outstanding job on that because, like I said, black shows absolutely everything. When I say everything, it shows everything. Everything shows up on it. But with that, I could see that little spine tick there. And it, it, it breaks color, too. So that's I, I could definitely see as far as why it became a 9.6. Or why it was graded a 9.6. But very cool nonetheless. And with that all black, you can see there's no imperfections with that slab as well. No Newton rings, nothing at all. Very clean. Very cool. Very black. 9.11. Awesome. Awesome book. All right. Now, on to the big show. I had a lot of people ask me about this book personally that I know through collecting that once they found out that, that I had it, they wanted it. Um, 
I this is one from my personal collection when I was a kid. I literally bought this off the rack. I wish, I wish, because even when I was growing up, I always bought two, one to rock, one to stock. This book, I only bought one for some reason. Because as far as reading and stuff, wasn't a big fan of the storylines in the books back then. Was always a fan of the movies, though. But as far as the Dark Horse books, I wasn't. And I got to give you, once again, credit to my man, Chris. When he showed the video to this and showed his pressing video on Instagram, he had the music set to it. And that music just chimed in. And I'm just watching this video. And I'm like, wow. The job that he did on it, because he showed it before and after. I was just like... From that point on, that's why I couldn't wait to check as far as when this was shipped back to me. I had to cheat. I had to see the grade. I had to know. And this is Star Wars Heir to the Empire. Number one. First appearance of Thrawn. Dark Horse Comics. What do you think we got? If I'm that excited. You guessed it right. 9-8. All day, white pages, Air to the Empire number one. So clean. Like I said, I think I bought this when I was a kid and I just put it right in a bag, right in a box, and then just never touched it again. And I was actually going through my collection and I saw this there. I was like, I double checked cover price. I went back and forth. I'm like, holy, yeah. And we all know as far as the speculation goes, with Disney Plus, the Ahsoka series, first appearance of Thrawn, about Thrawn possibly showing up on Disney Plus, either in Ahsoka or another series, but they say he's definitely coming. So, very cool. I just got to look at this for myself for the first time, firsthand, because absolutely beautiful. Very cool. I, I bought this, like I said, this is going back to 95. I bought this brand new myself when it came out. And I, like I said, I must have just thrown it in my long box and I forgot about it. I forgot I even had it. And when I was going through my collection, once I picked it up and got it out of the attic, out of storage, I saw this. I was like, and my man Chris did an outstanding job. Uh, like I said, I, I put the video up there of him showing the before and after i put the after up there he did an amazing job on this like i said when i saw that video i was like that book looks brand spanking no so excited so happy to have this definitely i mean l listen i'm so happy to have all these books that i got today these were all part of my personal collection none of these are leaving my collection Except, like I said, that Spider-Man, uh, you know, I got a 7.5 on it. I'd probably give that to my son. He's got his own little slab collection that I'll put up and that'll go up in his room. So happy with these today. This is very cool. Listen, 9.8's all day. I'll take that. 9.8, very cool. Air of the Empire, number one. Like I said, I wish I bought more than one of these when I was a kid. I always bought two. Always. But, can't win them all, but we already won this one. Very happy. Again, big thank you to Chris Gamma Rays. You're awesome. Awesome job. Very cool. CGC, your turnaround time's a little bit better. I got a lot more stuff coming back. Uh, this was actually doubled up with another shipment that I sent in that I'll be opening up soon. So make sure you subscribe. Stick around for that one. That'll be dropping in two weeks. A lot more cool books coming in. There's five books in that submission. Um, I'm trying to think of any big books in that. Nothing major as far as major keys, but a lot of cool books in it. That's for sure. Uh, once again, mixed up between my personal collection from a collection I bought. But a lot of cool stuff that you guys appreciate. If you're appreciating this, once again, give us a nice solid thumbs up for today. And if you subscribe, make sure you ding that bell for notifications. This way you do know when we do drop a video like this or one of our mystery box videos. Mystery box videos, we'll have another one dropping next Wednesday with me and the little guy. Uh, I think we got some mystery grail boxes to open up for you guys. You guys seem to like them and enjoy them. And we like to the, enjoy the comic books. We hope you like and enjoy them as well. 
very happy, very happy today. I'm like a happy boy. Happy, happy boy. Happy, happy, happy boy. That's me today. Happy boy. Jeez. I'm not a boy anymore. I'm an old man now. It's actually my birthday tomorrow, so one year older. Very cool. In the meantime, keep on rocking, everybody. Keep on rocking in the semi-free world. Appreciate y'all. Love you all. And we'll see you in the next video.